Today, the first lady made a surprise visit to a Texas shelter where some migrant children have been sent after their families entered the country illegally. Mrs. Trump called for them to be reunited with their families as soon as possible. Meantime, a small group of migrant children waiting to be reunited with family are right here in our area, and Cleve Bryan is in Camden with that story. Cleve. Well, if you've been wondering where are those children brought away from the border, some of them are here in Camden, right with this agency. I didn't like the sight or the feeling of families being separated. Despite an executive order to stop separating children from illegal immigrants at the Mexican border, questions remain about the fate of more than 2,300 youth taken from their families in recent months. We've learned hundreds were transported to other parts of the country, including New York City, whose mayor is appalled. I mean, think about the trauma. What's happening to these kids? Turns out South Jersey is also providing shelter to separated immigrant children. Our grant is to serve unaccompanied minor children. As part of a federal refugee grant to shelter unaccompanied minors who are showing up at the border by the tens of thousands each year, the Center for Family Services in Camden has recently received three children who were separated from their families during the president's zero tolerance crackdown on illegal immigration. We can't control the circumstances that brought you to the Center for Family Services, but we can extend a warm hand, a kind heart, and um, professional trauma-informed services. For more than 40 years, the center has helped house and counsel youth from crisis situations. Officials say taking children from the border is no different. Ages 13 to 17, they get bedrooms, meals, counseling, and playtime. And in some cases, they can even call their family. To anyone who thinks the center should have tried to protest the separation policy by defying orders to take the children, Chief Operating Officer Eileen Henderson says they're interested in helping children, not politics. My concern would be where would you want the children to go? There is no timeline when the children here will be reunited with their families. The center says that they are in communication with the federal government and will make travel arrangements when the time is right. Meanwhile, they're looking for families in this area to help out with temporary shelter for other kids that are in need. Live in Camden, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.